asante na shukuru baba na kupenda so that you can, uh, you can hear from them. If someone who 
good. Let the children, the Sunday school to come here in front very, very quickly. If someone would have the Sunday school come here very, very quickly. Joe is a member of this church. And uh, every now and then he comes and takes a peep what is going on in Sunday school. And they said they have to present a song for Joe. How about that? They are actually upstairs uh, preparing themselves. Uh, can someone check if they are ready? And while they are getting ready, I want to recognize some very, very, very special people in our midst. And actually, I'm going to start home. I'm going to start from home. Uh, here in the triangle, we are shepherded. Every little city you go, you will find a pastor. And most of the strong fellowships and churches we have around in the triangle, they are being headed by pastors of Kenyan descent. And you allow me to be a little bit selfish to have all of them come and line up here. I want to give them just a minute each to say their names and where they minister as the Sunday school kids get ready, where they minister and if they have just a short word for Joe and Mary, when they're here, that will be awesome. I know they have a representative that will be speaking on their behalf, but for now, I'll ask all the triangle chapters to come here in front. I'm showing off our pastors. So I'll ask them to come here forward, and uh, these are very, very active members of KCFA. Uh, we are so blessed so very blessed that our peers also take very high positions in the congregations that they minister to and uh, on behalf of the entire triangle and for the guests that we have here with us today i want to say that i give glory to god for these men and women of god who labor for us call them for wedding call for them for funeral call them when the, the kid is in trouble call them when a family member is going to prison for them any hour of the night, their clock doesn't stop. And therefore, we honor these men of God. That's why I ask them to come forward. They mean everything in my life. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I'm grateful this afternoon to be here um, and also to participate in the uh, KCFA Triangle, um, the event that's going on. My name is Pastor Zach uh, Karyuki. I Minister with CRCI, Cornerstone Renewal Church International. It is here and I'm so grateful, so grateful to be here this afternoon. Amen. And um, yes, I pastor and um, Pastor David Yashengeshi, who is now here. He's been out for vacation, but I think he's on his way coming. Uh, my wife is not here, she's coming from work, so, uh, but she will be here in a few minutes. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Manasi Freeman, good afternoon. Hello, Manasi Freeman. My name is Pastor Pearson Dante, or Pius, depending on the degree that you have. Um, that was supposed to be a joke. Okay? I'm so honored to be here. Uh, my wife is on the way. She'll be here in a few minutes, Dr. Wanjiko Ondachi. Uh, we pastor Springs of Glory and Revival Ministries right here in the Triangle. We're so honored to be here, Dr. Joe and Mary. We salute you. Without you, there'd be no KCFA. Maybe it would have been with another name, but because of your obedience, the Lord has caused all this to come to pass. And we honor you, and I believe that because of honor, the chapter and the entire case here will be a shift just because of this thing. Thank you. Good uh, morning. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes, uh, my name is uh, George Karaoke and uh, I'm married to Winnie Karaoke there. Amen. And uh, we serve God together with, that, with her uh, at North Park which is a ministry under the Church of God. Uh, we thank God for that. Uh, Dr. Joe and uh, Mary, uh, we really appreciate you. 
and we love you from the bottom of our hearts. In fact, I said I have to be here. You know, my transition, I'm back and forth. No, I am interstate. But by the grace of God, I said I have to be here. So I'm here. I just went about two or three hours ago, all the way from Chicago, from Illinois. I said I can't miss this. So we love you and appreciate you. Also, we serve together our daughters, Judith and Jessica. They are somewhere here to the glory of God. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the times. Wati Wawajiko is my name. Serving at St. Andrew's Anglican Church. Uh, that is in the Diocese of the Holy Innocents. My first interaction with the doctor uh, and Mrs. Mary was when I first came during a KCFA dinner in January of this year. Oh, yeah. And actually our flesh was initiated by Dr. Joe himself. When everybody else was motivated to come to this stranger, Dr. Joe came over and initiated me into the KCFA family. Special congratulations to you. I just want to remind you, always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord. For your labor in the Lord is never in vain. We appreciate the KCFA leadership, the Dari Mary, for giving honor and to whom honor is to you. If you give respect to those in authority, you are paving way to your own greatness. God bless you. Thank you. to God. My name is Doug Bess Katuni. I'm honored to be in this place. My wife is here. But I think my daughter, I'm glad she's somewhere here. I'm very grateful for this wonderful name of God. Even as when I see Kalogi and Mrs. Kalogi and I remember almost like 25 years ago when they met me at Birmingham, Alabama. I saw brother Jaman there as well. And I do thank God for the vision that God placed in your heart. And I've been reading, because this is the day of letting out the secret, I've been reading out the comments that I've been trying all over here and there. And also, Joe invited me to this function. <laughs> and I do thank God for that. The one good thing about our brother and our sister is that they are not only that great people you are hearing about, but also they are people that knows how to be humble. I can attest to that with my brother, Reverend Como and his wife, and brother Kimani, and the others from Alabama. But they also, Brother Joe knows how to be the seat. You see, you can see a man who, at that level he, that he is on a spiritual, he's not a real human being. He knows how to be the seat. He has babysat my girls. I see his son there with the team and the others. And brother, who despises the days of small foods. A babysitter. Be on that today. God be blessed. Bona sifiwe. To salimiyan eza hewani. Hallelujah. I am honored to be here with you. My name is Reverend Rulens Mbogwa. I love the Lord as my personal savior. We serve Emmanuel Anglican Community Church with others and also with my wife who is here, Evangelist Grace Como. And we have known the Karogis for a while because out of their happiness and their willingness to make connections, on their honeymoon in Mombasa, they met other honeymooners. Whatever they had gone to do there, they knew more better, so they connected. <laughs> and that honeymooner was given a chance to come to Birmingham, Alabama. And he also welcomed me in Birmingham. And as I always stand and tell people, it all began in Birmingham. And uh, the, the things that were in Birmingham when we were there, they have again been rebirthed in, in Lari, North Carolina. I, I really value them so much and I appreciate them and they know that. And uh, I respect them. 
and whatever was going on is it something that we had prayed with my wife for so many years and just talking about it i wish we can we people can know how to honor this humble couple that opened doors to so many people and still the doors are still being opened and when this thing came out this secret that has already been revealed that we are celebrating we are honored to be part of this and greater things god is going to do today we are humbled you know in the anglican communion <laughs> there are things we call the creationistic creationistic authority we are honored in the house to have an anglican bishop with us all way from kenya the bishop of embu diocese of embu is in the house with us to honor this great occasion and uh, we are also humbled bishop to be here with you and we thank god although i know you will get a chance to speak we recognize your presence here and uh, we are going to have you in jesus name Amen, 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 amen. Forty years ago when we got to know each other with uh, Joe and Mary, that time they were not married, we were very sincere and very truthful. So the first thing I want to do is to repent. Because today I lied to Dr. Joe maybe two times or maybe three times. <laughs> I told him, to, Dr. Joe, you know what? Today I'm putting on a tie. Saturday sometimes we like to stay easy and relax. And I told him, Dr. Joe, today I want you to put on a tie uh, because we are going to have a very special photograph today. Okay, so he took my word very seriously and he went and put on a tie. Then he comes to the sanctuary and he asked me, he was told by one of the ashes, that some other people have actually rented there. So the first thing he did was to come and speak to me. Are you aware? How can we have a function here? And, and we also have other people who have rented there. I told him, Dr. Joe, please. There's a function there, but don't worry about it. We will have already cleared our function here. So please, Dr. Joe. <laughs> please forgive me for what? <laughs> for giving you all those kind of information and, you know, telling you how can we be able to have a function here and allow another group to be there. No, but I had to tell him, you know what, this time it is happening. In fact, we had even put this cut in because we wanted to say everything is going to be here for KCFA and another people are going to be there. So I repent for telling you not the truth. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> So 40 years I've never lied to Dr. Joe, amen. So, number two, I am very, very humble to receive the servants of God who have actually come. As a man of the house, I really want to appreciate each one of you for being here. Those, my comrades from uh, the RTP, may the Lord really bless you so much. Those that have come beyond, because in our own water, and I'm sure maybe you're going to give, give the others an opportunity, but let me take this place, I mean this opportunity, to welcome each one of you. Number three, on behalf of Dr. Joe and Mary, we are saying, we are giving you a red carpet welcome in honor of Dr. Joe and Mary. Let's give a hand clap to the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Those, those are our guests and they are so they have to give the guests residence for them to come through the gate. So I had to give them a chance. And I'll be recognizing all the other guests that we have in the house. But meantime, unajua ukuwa promise kwa toto kitu. Alafu, ukosa kukuzi. You know where that's what he is from. If you don't fulfill, I don't want to be in trouble with these children. Uh, they just want to bless Dr. Joe and Mary. Uh, and I'll ask the Sunday school teachers to bring them over here, please. And if you could have someone stay aside a little bit. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, my brothers. Stay with you, Dr. Karol and Mary. I have no confessions to make. <laughs> specifically because I did not have an opportunity to talk to him. <laughs> so for that reason, I have no lies. <laughs> so I'm glad 
that this played itself out totally behind my back. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that it came to fruition. I was not sure the secret had been kept. So as I was flying this way, I said, I'm sure by now, word has gone out and has reached Dr. Karomi and his wife. That was my suspicion. I was visibly impressed that all these people that stood here, beginning with Lena uh, Kirwa. By the way, where's, where's John? Is he here? Reverend uh, Kirwa Maritim, we were classmates uh, at Stock Theological College. Is he here? Where is he? Uh, he's probably uh, quiet behind me there. And then I'm looking at that, that entire group of people. And then you have uh, Esther. The next person to Esther was who? Uh, was it Margaret? And then after Margaret was uh, who? Uh, Lydia? Then after Lydia was who? Uh, it was, I think it was S, if I'm not mistaken. But before S, we had uh, Lydia. Then uh, right there, there was, uh, what's her name? Um, there was Dorcas. But then there was Wangari as well. And then after Wangari, of course, Dorcas, and then Theora. Theora, it's right there. Right? Yes. And then after that, there was Rhoda. Then after Rhoda, I think we had Patrick. David. And then after David, we had Patrick, and then Bernard, and then, of course, uh, Dr. Mary Jerram. How did those people? How did those people keep that secret? I am still trying to understand <laughs> how they kept that secret. And then you had, of course, the pastors. You have uh, Pastor uh, George from Chicago. Where are you? I saw you there. Yeah, I was like, how did you keep that secret from him? And then we had, of course, uh, Pastor Zach Karyoki, your next door neighbor, uh, who is somewhat related to you, as I understand. <laughs> how he kept that secret, I don't understand. Pastor Lawrence, and then we had Pastor Douglas, and then Dr. Amudam. How did you keep that? Nice <laughs> and then Pastor Jun, Pastor Jun. Pastor Jun of all the people who meets Dr. Garoni for the first time and doesn't say a word to him about us. That is wonderful. I think that is amazing. Pastor Jun, I'd like to meet you. Uh, not Duat. Is it Duat? Pastor Duat, where are you? I would like to meet you. Okay? I'd like to meet you in person. That is just so wonderful. Then Apostle Eunice Mukuria, where are you? It was such a delight to see you. They said that I'm coming to Norfolk. Now we have to make that happen. <laughs> to make that true, okay? We have to make it true. And is that George? Uh, next to you, uh, I haven't memorized your name. Ezra, Ezra, I haven't memorized your name. I just see Apostle because she updates stuff on Facebook. That's how I remember. <laughs> yeah. Ezra, I will try my best to memorize your name. Okay? And then, uh, of course, James, you were there. Stanley Garanya, I don't know how you kept that secret. Pastor Kabiru, I don't know how you kept that secret. I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Elijah was there too, talking. All of this is a testament to how much you love our founders, the founding couple. And on behalf of the National Executive Board, we had a meeting when we heard that this was going on. I convened a meeting and I said, brothers, something is happening in North Carolina. We've got to have some kind of representation. And they said, well, you're the president. <laughs> you're the president. We are not talking about Bernardo and Jody here. We are talking about Dr. Joe Karogi. Uh, no offense to Bernardo and Joey. He's a great guy. Uh, he'll forgive me. I know he'll forgive me for some reason. We are talking about Dr. Joe Karogi. We are talking about uh, our sister, Mary. So they said, go and represent us. So the National Executive Board is entirely behind you. They are supporting you. And they are lamenting the fact that they could not be here in person as a group. But they are hoping that you will accept me yes. as a representation 
of the entire team. Please receive greetings from each and every one of them. Great things are happening in KCFA. Very soon, I'll be looking for 850 people to give me $100 so we can purchase a piece of property. 850 people. I'll be, I'll be uploading a video on WhatsApp or whichever, whichever place uh, to, so we can buy a piece of property that will be called our home. And that home is right here in North Carolina. So, I will not tell you from the details, though I'm suspecting Brother Fiora has leaked out that secret. <laughs> Even though he may not have talked about what was going on today, I'm suspecting but Brother Fiora has, has whispered a word to you. But something is happening, something really big, something great, and I hope you will be a part of it. And please know that the entire NEB is behind you, and we are standing with you, we are praying with you. I don't want to say any more, because I have a message that I'll be delivering a little later on. Thank you so much for that invitation, and God bless you very much. We have a very special breed of Christians in KCFA. Uh, we sacrifice a lot. And he had to pay his own ticket to be here. Uh, and we traveling back later tonight. And for all those places that he goes to visit, it's from his pocket. We don't, we don't, we don't give him the money to do that. Like, but I, like he said, KCFA is going to another level. We cannot be told to us anymore. <laughs> Especially now that we have gone back to give a dowry. <laughs> now we've received the presents. We don't have financial breakthroughs. <laughs> and you have to sponsor presidents when they are traveling. He doesn't have to get in his pocket and Doctor, how you would that be you when you are the president and you're still paying for your ticket or oh, praying to God that you may get that. And not that we are not there yet, but we need to, you know. We need to realize that time and the season is now for those things to happen. We have one member of the BOT, and after this member of the BOT uh, leaves, I'll ask the ushers to be ready because we're going to give a very special offering. Mimi ni kikuita ukuja unisitikisha kama naenda kutebelea wa sasi, kama ni Kenya, Today, bless these people. And I know that some of you have gone above and beyond. But the offering that is going to be taken today, we are planting that seed in their lives. In their lives. So that, like someone said, when we are testing the big conference, it's not going to be the same again, my sister or my brother. It's not going to be the same again because you create a very critical debt that we owe them. And uh, it's a blessing, like I said before, to telling them this in their ear. It's a bit of privilege that we have. Honestly speaking, and I know they're not gonna carry me any negative when I say this, Dr. Jeroge. If I say this, they are fine. I, we are now very, very close friends. After the other day, I told Mrs. Karobi, because she said I'm very, very, very quiet and there is the Christmas dinner coming up and I seem not to be so much bothered and he looked me at the face and said Mary, are you, are you serious? Like, this is the month of God and you are not selling anything about KKB but I couldn't post two things at the same time you know, and I said for the very first time umendisomea mama karoku umendisomea lakini umendisomea that's what I told that's what I told and then Dr. Joe told me the other day that I need to release the flyer for the meeting. <laughs> and I had to do that. That flyer is here. He's the one who demanded that we need to let people know about this meeting. So I had to do that and put him as the speaker. And uh, thank you so much for, for being obedient. So today, any dime, every dollar that we contribute to this evening is going to go to them as a way of appreciating them. We cannot just appreciate them because of uh, being our parents in KCFA. But you and I know, 
If there is one person who knows almost where everybody in the triangle lives, it's Joe. I'm pretty sure. If, if he has never faced a deal in your house, raise up your hand. Joe, look around. <laughs> That's Joe, and he can visit like 10 people in one single day. And he doesn't need appointment. He just needs to come and knock if you're there, fine, if you're not there. And I end now, and I'm to be killing He cares about everything. A baby is born, you can be there. I've seen him sometimes in the baby shower, and I've seen him at He's just so down to earth and minding everybody else. Business. He's not an American in that sense. <laughs> you know, he's, and he's, well, American business, he's knows it. Let me tell you what, he's been in my about kingdom business. He want to make interact with the kids, he interact with the youth, he interact with the old, the presidents. When the politicians are coming, Joe is there. When there is this, someone has died in them. I don't know how many committees he's in. He's always there, but that's the kind of a person. He has touched your life in any way. We will bless them after this. And I'll ask uh, Dr. Jerome from Virginia. He's then representing the... But under one dynamiter, now number three, he has called us together. He has obeyed God's call to unite us not only under one denominator or under one dynamiter, but under one destiny. The Bible says, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, if you have hope, you have a destiny. If you are expecting something to come out at the other end, you have a destiny. And he's trying to bring you to terms with your destiny. Where are you coming from? Where are you heading? Are you aware of your relationship with Jesus Christ? Is that relationship taking you somewhere? Do you have a hope beyond the grave? Those are the questions you must ask yourself when you come to a ministry such as this. And our brother Joe has responded and obeyed the call to unite us all under one destiny. Now we have one denominator, we have one dynamiter, and we have, we have one destiny. But there is a fourth noun. The fourth noun is this. He has obeyed the call to unite us, first of all, under one denominator, two, under one dynamiter, three, under one destiny, but four, under one deliverer. The Bible says we have one Lord. He's referring to Jesus Christ, the deliverer. The Redeemer, the Savior, the Sanctifier, the one who breaks all chains, the one who loses all bonds. What he redeems, no one can condemn. What he condemns, no one can redeem. The doors he shuts, no one can open. And the doors he opens, no one can shut. Because he is one deliverer. And you are a part of that. You are enjoying the delivering power of Jesus Christ. He has called us together under one denominator, under one dynamiter, under one destiny, under one deliverer. And there is a fifth noun. And the fifth noun is one faith. One faith. In other words, it is a one dogma. One dogma. The theologian Karl Barth wrote a multi-volume self called The Church Dogmatics. It is so huge, it's a library in itself. Not many people are able to read it. But the dogma we are talking about is that we believe in God the Father. We believe in God the Son. We believe in God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the return of Christ. We believe that someday the cloud will roll back as a scroll. The trumpet shall sound. The Lord shall descend. And we will be the Lord forever and ever. It is one dogma. And it is a dogma subscribe to and there's a fifth and a sixth now the sixth noun is it is one declaration the bible says one lord one faith one baptism now some of you were baptized by immersion some of you were probably baptized by sprinkling some of you probably a flag was waved near you it what matters is how do you 
you understand what is going on? According to church doctrine and dogma, baptism is an outward declaration of an inner change. It is an outward declaration of an inner change. You're declaring to the world, I am redeemed, I am delivered, I am saved, I am sanctified. You are declaring to the world that you used to do X, Y, Z. Now you do it for Jesus Christ. You used to do things that you would never do before. And now you are doing something that you will always want to do. Because there is an inner change in your life. It is a one denominator. A one dynamiter. One destiny. One deliverer. One dogma and one declaration. But there's a seventh now, and it is one daddy. The God and the Father of all. He has brought us together under one daddy. The Bible says that this God, not only is he a deity, but he's also our daddy. He is the Father of all. He is over all. He is through all. So that if you ever left your dad back at home, you know that you have a dad in God. If you've ever lost a dad in life, you know that you have a dad in God. If you've never had a dad near you, you know that you have a dad in God. This is a ministry that centers itself around those seven principles of scripture. My challenge to you, would you join us? Will you join us in this ministry so that your life can continue to reflect the glory of the image of God? Obey God's call to be united under one denominator, under one dynamiter, under one destiny, under one deliverer, under one dogma, under one declaration, and under one death. God bless you.
we are heading to a very important session because our keynote speakers <laughs> <laughs> we had a speaker, now we have the keynote speakers. <laughs> they tell us what they have been here. They tell us about the history of the and all that. And uh, I need Mrs. Camilla to be preparing to bring the woman of God forward. And I need the president to prepare to bring the founder forward. But before they come, I want to invite Someone who's been there, know the pain, know the wind of KCFA. Because it knows Bella, it's not Anna and Kevin Karogi, my friend. Please come forward. And uh, I'm sure your mom is so happy to see you here today. <laughs> your mom is, is so happy to see you. This, 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 is, this is a fight. This is my fight. We, we have worked. <laughs> so I'll give you a chance to tell you, you know now from, from the inner court, who these people are. And uh, I just got a message from Kerry. Oh, of course, you even. Oh, okay. I'll speak for myself because okay. I'm here. Um, it is good to see everybody. Uh, I always I've been enjoying this the whole time because um, it's funny because you all talk and I don't have the same type of relationship that you all have had with my parents where you talk of 40 years that you've never liked them and everything and I, I was just thinking, me, you know, I'm their child, it happens sometimes, so for me, I will say I'm not going to apologize for misleading them this week, I thoroughly enjoyed it because there's not a time that you're allowed by your contemporaries to mislead your parents and it's okay thing, right? I was, I was, it was a good thing, so me and Dan, we were working on the PowerPoint together and he was like, oh, this picture, put this picture there, and me and the whole time, I'm just like, I'm doing extra work for no reason because I know it's not really me because I'm going on. But he was very, he was very invested, so I enjoyed everything that we were doing together. I always think, um, because, you know, with a father named Joseph and a mother named Mary, there's a lot of pressure put on you in this world. <laughs> More than that, uh, and I love the Bubatimis here, you know, Bubatimi said that he called them Joseph and Mary because they came up together and in my formative years, Bubatimi was always there. And I always just remember thinking like, how did in the village they came with the name Morris? Like, you know, your name is Morris. And I was wondering why mom was telling me that, you know, when you get saved, you have to take a Christian name. So, and in this Black Panther era, me, I was just thinking colonizers the whole time. So, I just think about that all the time. And you all talk about the humility of my father, and I, and I see it in action. Like, for me, it's not just an idea, but it's everyday action. So, I remember that, for me, I didn't even know. All these years I went to KCFA, I'm inexorably tied to KCFA. I cannot separate myself from KCFA. Every year there's an annual conference. I'm, another year, we're always matched together. So I'll be turning 28 this year, and the amount of years that there's been KCS break. Right? Um, and we were just talking or something, we were talking about we're going to KCFA, and Timmy was like, yeah, you know your dad's the founder, right? And I was like, wait, what? I didn't know. I've been going for a decade to KCFA, and I didn't know that my dad was the founder, and that's the kind of man he is. He's not that man who stands and will tell you, this is what I've done, and thank you for this, but he'll be sitting in the back and you'll just know that he's there. So for me, it's even, it's always interesting to see him sitting in the front because I'm not used to that. that. That never happens. He's always somewhere around there, but you know that he's here somewhere. Uh, also, just, it's just been an honor for me to just be uh, here to see what it really means. I always think of the African proverb, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. And that's what's been created here, a sense of togetherness in this very individual, individualistic culture of America. You know, we've grown up here, I've been here my whole life. Um, it's still an honor to see that people are able to come and sit together. And it's because of what we've all done for each other and what we all believe that we can continue to do moving forward. 
And you all talk that, you know, no one raised their hand that Papa Kuroki hasn't been to their house. And there's another side to that, because I know that there would be times me and Kelly were in the house, and Mom would come and ask us, where's your dad? And I was like, wait, I thought he was with you. <laughs> and then we just hear that he's been out in the community, or oh, I visited this person, I visited that person. So just to know that while he was visiting you, me and we were at the house. <laughs> There's always two sides to the story. You must, you must know that. And, and what I learned from that is, um, Pastor Michael, we were talking to get yesterday in Cornerstone, and uh, he was talking to us about what it means to have greatness as a, as a person, a man and a woman. And he talked about paying the price, about sacrifice. And that's what I, I've seen from my parents both. And it's just been an honor to see that and to continue to see it and what it's come out to be. So, thank you all. Uh, my brother couldn't be here. He's in Penn State, he's getting his PhD. Um, and he just wanted to say thank you all. And um, I'll send him your greetings as well. So, thank you. for me spiritually, physically, and mentally. Thank you for calling me all the time with nothing needed to say, just to hear my voice. <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh, even though most of the time it was at you, not with you. <laughs> Thank you for the meals, the birthday parties, and everything in between. Thank you for all the advice, when I don't take it, you guys are always right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making me so happy. Thank you for working so, so, so hard to be able to send me to college. That means the absolute world to me. And for that, I will never be able to repay you. Thank you for giving me the life every child deserves and being such wonderful parents. When I have children, I want to be just like you. Thank you for always being there for me. Without the two of you, I don't know where I would be. I realize I do not thank you enough for everything. And for that, I apologize. If I have learned anything while being away from you, it is that you are the most important people in my life. And I love you both more than anything. So mom and dad, thank you for everything. I promise I work hard to make you as proud. From and now, I want to ask Mrs. Camilla to usher Mrs. Karoni the podium here, and our president to escort the KCP powder to the podium, and then good parents. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. So I want to give them the mic. Sit with the Lord. 
Μόνα σου φίλε. He, he 
people will go out to, even for us, in our family. If, my, if I have a need, if I'm not feeling well, my husband will go out of his way to just make us comfortable. And I was saying, God, do something to him, to just show him that you really appreciate what he does. And now I hope God has used you to encourage me because I know he has prayer. You know there are those prayers that you pray? And I was saying, actually for your information, and my husband forgive me for this, next year he turns 60. Your mother does something, isn't it? We have two gods. The other day, I was talking to my mom. She said, okay, uh, she has not called me. How can she refuse to call me and she even refused to, 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 to bother me? <laughs> you see, you understand the thing? But that girl, by God's grace, is an adopted girl, daughter. Her name is uh, Catherine Damari Shere. We picked her when she was uh, we picked her, we, 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 we were given by her parents when she was uh, eight. Now, she, now she's 14 years old. God willing, she'll join us. She's in grade seven. So the other day, and then I am trying to follow this because the other day, Kevin is writing the WhatsApp group, our son and asking, okay, our, our, our sister, Sarah Kasema, Dada Mudova. So I'm not thinking at Dada Mudova. So at that story, I don't know where it came from, they were talking about their sister. So by God's grace, Kate, that's my daughter. Thank you. Yeah, never that's Kevin and many others. 
So this is a, the photo we took the first time we were in the conference. In my field, we say it is not written in that. Now this happened. <laughs> this is not fake news. This is real. Let's continue. This is the first National Executive Board meeting with her in Pensacola, Florida. This is the time whereby we reported what happened. Let me have that. Uh, Brother Amore was very instrumental in uh, trying to figure out how the day will go. Thank you, thank you, Brother Morris. I still remember that. He says, at the, be uh, okay. at the beginning, I had planned the meeting by myself. However, we felt that there was a need for a more organized group to help plan such events in the future. We then agreed to form a a group called Kenya Christian Fellowship in America. That's why they see a great, great conference with Lombe. She, she was uh, our treasurer. Joa Shwambua, Shwambua was the program director. Our red brother, Dr. Steve Kabashia, was the chaplain. We had a chaplain. Maybe it's another time we have a chaplain. And uh, our secretary, then, was purity to money. She, I don't know which area she is here, she is right now. And then we had committee members, Dr. Robert Gronger. That was the first executive board meeting. Okay. That just asked the vision in one of these, in those conferences. Let's continue. This was the first, on, I mean, board, BOT meeting. As you are going to Alabama, we had gone to Pensacola. This was in Pensacola. Different times in Pensacola and Auckland, you can see Dr. Jeroke there. Okay, let's continue. Again, hey, can you, you see Dr. Rashid Nashi? Yeah, then he was at the same, he was at the same. We, her, we, 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 we were given by her parents when she was uh, eight. Now, she, now she's 14 years old. God willing, she will join us. She's in grade seven. So the other day, and then I am trying to follow this because the other day, Kelly is writing the WhatsApp group, our son and asking, okay, our our, our, our sister, so that I say, Dada Mudogo. So I'm not thinking at Dada Mudogo. So at that story, I don't know where it came from. They were talking about their sister. So by God's grace, Kate, that's my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's family. Okay. That's family too. This is where case you paint. These are the apartments we used to stay. Southside, 1512 Gatim Avenue, apartment number three. That's where everything started. That's where we started to have the first meetings in Birmingham at Southside. Amen? That's the end of view of uh, Alabama. If you are in Birmingham, the viewpoint that you have to see is that that name steel man called Walker. He's one of the steel, the, the biggest steel whatever in the world. Let's continue. Now, letters are very important. This letter is the first invitation letter to invite people to come for a meeting. They were not coming for a KCFA meeting. They were just coming for, just for a meeting. It is a, a But anyway, this letter was an invitation to go to Shula Vista. Praise God. This was in uh, October. The first conference was in, uh, in November 29. November 29 to December 1st. And uh, how much do you pay for, for, for fee these days? 
We were paying 70 dollars to come to, to come to come to the conference those years. But this is the first invitation letter that was done in my tenure to come for a meeting, a meeting that did not have a name. Praise God. Okay, let's go to the other one. This is the first center. This is in Shura Vista, out of Birmingham. This is where we had our first annual conference in November 29, 1991. Let's continue. This is the first photograph of KCFA. This tall guy here is Maurice. Maurice, can you stand up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, stand up. The guy with a card gun at the corner. That's a guy. I thank God that uh, in that photo, still we have members who are very, very... You can get to see the director of women, Charity Murioki. He's there, she's there. And many others. At the back, I'm holding my son, Kevin. Where? Yeah, where back, that's Kevin, and many others. So this is uh, the photo we took the first time you are in the conference. In my field, you say, if it is not written, it is not Now this happened. <laughs> this is not fake news. <laughs> Let's be young. Let's continue. This is the first National Executive Board meeting we have in Pensacola, Florida. This is the time whereby we reported what happened. Let me have that. And uh, Brother Morris was very instrumental in uh, trying to figure out how the name will go. Thank you, thank you, Brother Morris. I still remember that. He says, at the, be uh, okay. at the beginning, I had planned the meeting by myself. However, we felt that there was a need for a more organized group to help plan such events in the future. We then agreed to form a a group called Kenya Christian Fellowship in America. That's why KCFA trade conference with Ombe. She, she was uh, our treasurer. Joa Shwambua, Shwambua was the program director. Our red brother, Dr. Steve Kabashia, was the chaplain. We had a chaplain. Maybe it's another time we have a chaplain. And uh, our secretary, then, was purity to money. She, I don't know which area she is there, she resides now. And uh, we had committee members, Dr. Robert Donga. That was the first executive board meeting. Okay. That just asking the vision in one of these, in those conferences. Let's continue. This was the first, on, I mean, board BOT meeting. As you are going to Alabama, we had gone to Pensacola. This was in Pensacola. Different times in Pensacola and London, you can see Dr. Jerome there. Okay, let's continue. Again, hey, you, you see Dr. Rashid Neshi? Yeah, then he was at the same. He was at Thank you. 
want to give this opportunity to our own president. Chao Kelo is sitting in us uh, as a symbolic to hand this card to the president. When Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem, before he did so, he asked his disciples to go and find a coat that had never been ridden by anyone. And when they went to find the coat, as they were untying it, the owner asked, why are you untying the coat? And he said, the master needs it. He rode on that coat into Jerusalem as people were waving palm branches saying Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I want to think that something like the mood captured here is what went on on that day. And we rejoice in the realization that someday he will come back not riding on a colt, mm. but in the clouds of heaven yes. to take us back home with him. Yes. Meanwhile, enjoy the ride in the name of the Father. I don't know whether we have the pastors there. If you are close to it, oh yes, please lay your hands on it. Mm -hmm. We lift your servant before you, O oh Lord. Yes, Dr. Joe Karogi. Oh God, and Mary, his wife. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for the ministry with which you will use this car as they ride it, as they drive it. Mm. We pray you will always protect them from careless drivers. We pray you will help them to be careful yes. that you will keep them in your care. Yes. This is an instrument made with human hands. Yes. But we sanctify it before you yes. that you will bless their coming in and their going out. Oh, yes. That you will protect them from evil. Yes. You will God. protect them from the attacks of the enemy. Oh, yes. And their lives will continue to resonate with your praise. Yes. That wherever they go, oh Lord, yes. they will bring grace to those they will visit oh, yes. and those with whom they will minister. Yes. We also continually pray, O oh Lord, mm. that even as they go wherever they are, mm. that you'll bless every surface that the tires of this car will tread on. Yes. And that, Lord, as they continue to serve you, oh, yes. O oh Lord, your glory will be revealed. Thank you, we thank you for the many souls that will be saved yes. because of the ministry that will be enhanced by the use of this vehicle. Yes. And we pray you will bless them abundantly yeah. even as our sister prays for those 47 minutes yeah. when she goes to school. Yeah. Hear her prayers as they come out Thank of this car. May your name be glorified. Glory to you. We pray, Father, that in Jesus' name mm. the works of the enemy will be destroyed, yes. the intentions of evil will be frustrated, yes. Yes. the powers of Jesus. darkness will be completely obliterated. Yes. And we lift this car to you, you in God. the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe and Mary, we honor you and we love you. Amen. Now you said it doesn't take much to surprise somebody as you speak. <laughs> How you are and, surprised here. Yeah. And he who refreshes others yeah. also will be, will be refreshed. Yeah. This is your blessing. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We love you. Amen. Amen. Now let's go have the rest of the party is still going. Please, the Fadali, please okay. let's go inside. Go and get a Joe and get a hug. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Amen.
Dr. Karogi, hold on one second. Yes, cut from all the way from up, all the way down. Amen. And again, all the way up, down. And one more time. Then you're gonna try cut this one so that we can get a piece. So, Dr. Joe, you're gonna give Dr. Mary, and Dr. Mary, you're gonna give uh, Dr. Joe. Hallelujah. A piece, and there is a fork here. Hallelujah. And as they give one another, please let up. <laughs> amen, amen. Hallelujah. To Apigia Makopi, hallelujah. To Shangilia, hallelujah. They are saying this is not the end. We will continue preaching Christ. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Now it's going to be Miss Mary giving uh, Dr. Joe and saying we started and we are not stopping today. We are moving on. So have a bite. Amen. To Apigia Makopi, hallelujah. Amen, amen. And uh, I want to ask Kevin to come. I don't know where Kevin is. Mommy is asking for Kevin. Hallelujah. Or maybe he stepped outside. Okay, so for the rest of it, we're not gonna have it over here. We're gonna take it all the way back there and we're all gonna share. Make sure you have a piece and you, as you have that piece, just remember these words from Mrs. Kaminda that they are saying that we're gonna continue with this work of God wherever you are, in the world that you are, in the area that you are. God bless you mighty and have a wonderful evening.